Wait, whereabouts are we on the haven? We're, we're going to go up here. Um, actually, this is a slightly older map. Okay. So we're going to come off this road and we're going to go uh, towards Who. Yeah. And then we're going to take what's called the horse walk. And so the haven then becomes a much smaller river. Oh, really? So a lot of its weight is carried behind. And then it becomes this little tiny river, this tiny little drain. No way. Yeah. Um, and then part of that drain flows through the pub. To, to the pub's gardens and part of it. Oh, right, yeah, there's, you can see the pH there. Yeah, yeah. So by the time the Wanderers Haven actually gets to the sea, it's, um... It's tiny. It's tiny, yeah. yeah. If a tench came along, it'd be, it'd be well received. Yeah. Um, and I said one night I'd, I'd specifically go out and try and catch a perch. And so I baited under a fallen tree um, and with a half a lobe and lo and behold, uh, no ground bait, no nothing, just, just oh, loose feeding bits of worm, uh, some maggots, and, um, and a quarter tench at three nice. and a half pounds. Uh, that's yeah. a nice tip. Lovely, right under the rod tip, right under the, you know, I'd actually, I had the bait about a sort of meter away from the tree. had some fantastic raptor action. I think it's the sort of the terrain here, you've got this big wide expanse of open land and the water and all the ditches and there's loads of insects and lots of small birds and there's lots of small birds moving through. A lot of meadow pipits, lots of linnets and goldfinches and some red pole um, and the raptors have followed them so We've had a kestrel hunting today just over to the right, just over behind us, and uh, a sparrowhawk came through, buzzards in the distance calling. Um, yesterday we had a hobby, which is fantastic, came wheeling up, and the uh, swallows and martins soon disappeared. And then also today we had a peregrine, looked like a juvenile bird it was quite brown still so probably a youngster um, I'm just saying came pumping up the valley quite purposefully quite low um, really can really tell the such muscular birds you can really see the pumping wings um, and we were chatting to a guy actually on the bridge earlier who, who said that they nest on the pylons just uh, probably half a mile maybe a mile back up so there's obviously a local pair that, that are doing quite well and plenty of other birds besides. It's been, it's been quite a nice interlude, quite a nice distraction.
such a it's got a it's got a kind of feel that this could be something exciting moving through the wind's dropped but it's there's just a breeze there's enough air to um to catch and there's there must be some decent thermals there's some high clouds there's probably some good warm air rising Ooh. Hoping there's been a couple of perch moving, and I'm I lost a nice bream, and I'd quite like to get one of the bream, which is what the place is synonymous with. So, a day like this, in an area like this, there's just a chance there could be something. I just had a little lift on the float. Nerve-wracking. I've only got a four-pound line and a size 10 barbless and I've managed to get it out the pads into open water but it's... I'm less worried about the line than the hook slipping. Yeah, it's a big tench. That's a nice tench. Now, this comes in this with a very nice fish. Then a 
actually where we're going, where we can go. We can push a little bit further on. And that's where we see the, um, the carp anglers. Oh, on the top? Yeah, yeah, somewhere around, roughly around there. Yeah. And you, 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 you know, you see them because they pass you by, you know, with buckets of bait. Like, yeah. like Norman Conquerors? Like Norman Conquerors, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah.